Hello, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages from beautiful uptown Burbank. Harvard Town is now in session. Let's welcome to the stage the game master extraordinaire, the man with all the hair, the guy who's right over there, Spencer Crittenden. What up, Spencer? And the mayor of Harmontown, Mr. Dan Harmon. Yeah. Rapping north, rapping west, rapping on your titties, rapping on your chest, rapping on your hat, rapping on your gloves, rapping with your mama. She's the woman I love. She's my one lady for life. I love her like a spoon loves a knife. All the same ass rhymes when I do my freestyle because I've been rapping for a long, too long a while. All my rhymes are written down. I got them in my pocket. Okay. Yeah. Just want to just want to wrap at the top of the show just to get the uh, the pump prime. Let's hit that beat again. <laughs> all right. So uh, all right. Here's the uh, top of the show. Top of the show. Uh, all right. So you've watched nature shows about bees. You've heard about bees. Here's this. Here's this rule you've heard: killer bees, regular bees that you've agitated, whatever. You know, you see the list of things to do and don't. Bees are attacking you. Don't do this. What's well, the thing? You know, you know where I'm going. Uh, uh, because it's the weird bee rule that intrigues. We all know this. You know uh, it. Don't if bees are chasing you, don't jump in water. Don't jump in water. Don't do it. Don't don't absolutely under no circumstances if a swarm of killer bees are chasing you. Do, and, and and you happen to be near a nice pool of water. Don't jump into it because uh and then and then you go, Oh, really? Why? So that's like that rule like where you're if you're dying of thirst in the ocean. And like, even though you're surrounded by salt water, don't drink the water. Which then you you find out why. Oh, it's salt water. You will dehydrate yourself even faster than if you just don't drink water. This this rule's a little different though, because you go, oh, why, 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 why with the bees? Well, because um, they could, and it's it's they always use this this phrase. They they could be waiting for you when you come up because they can detect the carbon dioxide coming out of your mouth. That's why they say, when you're running away from bees that are trying to kill you, do zigzag. wrap your head in a, a shirt. Cover your head. For God's sakes, cover your head. Cover your mouth and your nose. They can track you by the carbon dioxide you're emitting. Do not, under any circumstances, jump into water because what? It magnifies your carbon dioxide emissions? No. it. They might be waiting for it when you come back up. But motherfucker, I'm also covering my whole body with water and, and uh, like, what the fuck? I, 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 like, say it this way. From now on, uh -oh. I'm sick of these. Who, who, who are you targeting with this statement? Like, every B. The authorities. Every B. Public show, service announcers. Every B article. Google B. <laughs> every attack. B article. Google every fucking B. Google B. National B. You're on notice every B article. <laughs> anybody, anybody that has ever written or has ever gone How to should write they phrase it? About B uh, attacks and how to survive them. From now on. When you're before you copy and paste, because I know that's what you're doing, don't Whoa. jump into water. Uh, just, 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 just amend it to this. If it's a choice between water and your house, go in your house. Right. You'll be safer there. In the house. Than in the water. If you're in a fucking desert and you're running from goddamn killer bees, there's not going to be any water. And there's a, some water. <laughs> okay. Jump the fuck in it. Right. It's there for you. I got, you know, you want to hear, I have some coyote tips. You want to hear my bee tips. Coyote tips. What are your bee tips? You're uh, covering your head with your shirt, right? Uh-huh. Because you're supposed to. Jump in the water. Keep the shirt over your head. Poke your head out of the water covered by the now wet shirt. You got a bubble of air in a bubble. there. I mean, there's a, million, that. there's a million ways to use water to avoid a bee attack, and everyone's so fucking uh, taken with their observation that the bees could be waiting for you when you come out. I, 
I don't care if they could be waiting for also, me. Also, anytime you're ever escaping anything, the thing you're escaping could be waiting for you at some I, point. It, 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 it's even, they even say could be, which means I, I'm going to say a lot of times not. I'm going to say a lot of times if you jump into water, killer bees are like, ah, fuck it. I think they don't what are we going to play the track his carbon dioxide, sting his nose every three minutes <laughs> game until he slowly dies over six months? Yeah. It would be scary to have like one of those cartoon reeds that you use to breathe when you're hiding in a pond, and then the bees all pour into that. You yeah, know, I th yeah I'm right pretty sure that was a, like a Tom and Jerry cartoon. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's scary. I want to see the article uh, about the guy who was in a killer bee attack and ran and jumped in the uh, uh, water, and yeah. because he jumped in the water, not in spite of jumping in the water, because he jumped in the water, he died. He got well, because up if you're in the water and you're underwater and all you're emitting is bubbles, it's going to be mostly carbon dioxide. They're going to go, oh, this, this guy, there's a carbon dioxide fountain right here. Hey, great. The guy's right here. So, so don't go into the water if there's a house closer. Right. Don't okay. go, God damn it. Oh, look at that house. Okay, that bee proof house. Ah, oh, I see some water up there. What a better idea than the house. So don't do that. Let That's me give a way you, different rule. You're going to kill somebody with that rule. Don't jump in the water. What if that's all there is? I just can't think. I mean, look, I love honey as much as the next person. Um, and if I go getting in that honeycomb and I, I agitate the bees and they're, they're coming after me, that's already a rarefied situation. That, that's not a usual well, thing. We're talking about, but then, no. now we're talking about there's a house and a, and a pond. Like that's like like how, how often am I around like just standing water anyway? Or a house in a pool, but no, we're talking. Look, oh, I mean, oh, we're talking about like at the, at well, you're your, you're cleaning out your tool shed and you you move a sled the uh, the, the, the you know, and and there was a bee's nest in the wall and they start they're Africanized so they start going like this fucker's trying to take our honey, get him and you're like what I didn't try shit just moving a sled bitches and then there, you're like running okay like like if your pool. Is closer than your house by five feet. Okay, head for the house. Take a couple more stings for the team, for your kids. Live to tell the tale. Spencer, Get into is, the is house. Like, you, with your coyote uh, like punch kick maneuver, uh -huh. do you, do, like, let, let's say that you didn't have house or water right. resources available to you. A bunch of bees are on your ass. What would your like instinctive game master technique be to, to thwart them? Man, I don't know. I think that we're talking about the wrong problem, and we really got to be addressing B on B crime. Well, you know how you know how they work with they with those queens. If the queen dies, then they start feeding uh, the regular larva royal jelly. Uh, but they don't just uh, they don't just make for one queen. They they do a whole selection, a whole row, and then the first one to hatch, she uh, she goes and stings all the other queens to death in their cradle. But Here's the thing. I stayed at a hotel this week uh, that, that boasted an apiary. Uh, oh, shit. 120,000 bees and That's four cool. queens. I was like, geez, how did they have such can they have such control over how many queens there are, really? I didn't know that was such a mathematical thing. They're like, our, our beehives have four queens and 120,000 bees. Come taste our honey. Uh, and then I started, I started looking it up. I'm like, really? They have that much control? I'm like, oh, that's the whole science of uh, uh, biology or whatever is... Uh, it, it is uh, the uh, this is the bee, the uh, queens will live like five to seven years, but the older ones they're not as productive. So a beekeeper, we think they're so cool and they're just like gathering honey. These fuckers are like the CIA in the fifties. They're like they're they're like dipping and dapping in the government. Like they 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 just they'll they'll reach in or they'll they'll wound the queen because if the queen becomes wounded. <laughs> then the bees they'll will start. produce more queens that are more vibrant. But typically what they'll do also is they don't even trust because new queens are just as shitty as old queens. So they'll like trade and buy queens and just import them and just dr kill the queen and then drop a new one in there and be like, there's your new queen. And the bees will be like, fine with us because we're fucking morons. It's like SimCity. Mm. <laughs> you know what's weird about bees is uh, they're like flying ants basically. Whose avipositors have been uh, adapted into stingers, but uh, they uh, right. they don't do that pheromone thing. The ants have the pheromone trail. Oh, they don't smell. Well, honeybees, you know, they they come back to the hive. Have you seen the documentaries where they do the little they dance? dance? Yeah. They do the little the little clockwork 
like they have an elaborate geometric code that like indicates coordinates. Yeah, that's fun. It's crazy. I mean, the, thinking about the ways other animals communicate with each other is always this mind blowing thing to me because it's like. You know, even if it's very simplistic and basic, it's very crazy. But it's probably not simplistic and basic. It's probably just impossible to truly comprehend on a meaningful level. It's pretty crazy that they, they yeah, they communicate with each other, but it doesn't. All it means is like go get some pollen. Like, they, like all their right. whole language is just for nothing. If anybody was looking down at us, they'd be like, yeah, look at all this shit they're bullshitting yeah, about. Yeah, they love but, all these memes. They talk in memes. But stuff. all they're all they're doing is like moving the oil from here and then. Yeah, they're trying to get to Mars, but they can't. Cars are probably some weird thing, like, from uh, an outside perspective. It's like they have all this car stuff that's going all over the place, and they get in and out of cars all the time. I'll tell you what bees haven't done, aside from pollinating all of our flowers and giving us walnuts and, you know, all like all of the, the food that we eat. Uh, they've never sent a car into space. No. Uh, and by a the bee, way. A bee, I dare, I challenge you bees to send a car into space. And show us what you got. I yeah. can't wait. Like, if this was a cartoon, if our life was a cartoon, like the cutaway gag would be like like Star Trek Enterprise is there, and then they're like having a scene, and then the Tesla comes and just smashes into the Enterprise and kills everybody. Yeah. Like that's gonna happen. Like I can't wait until our future society is like taken out by that Tesla because we didn't think about the ramifications <laughs> of just shooting something off into space. So dumb. They say that space junk is gonna destroy. All chance of exiting the planet. Aren't like, the Chinese working on some laser to go like blow up all the space junk? God, I hope so. There's so much space junk that we have all these uh, astrophysicists that are like watching the space junk to make sure we can launch stuff into space without it hitting space junk. Because if we get hit by space junk, it'll all uh, make a chain reaction and cause an impenetrable web of space junk that renders our skies unleavable. You know what Elon mm. Musk should have done is maybe maybe he did. Maybe he did. Maybe he sent a car into space so he could put all that space junk in the trunk. Right. I know this Elon Musk shooting a car into space in a country with a completely bankrupt space program that isn't doing shit in a world that has a shelf life on it of like 20 to 30 years uh, max. Uh, the, the one guy who has a 30 year plan is like, I'd like to colonize Mars uh, within the time that it's going to take for us to eat through the planet. Like, he can shoot whatever he wants out of space. Like, 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 it's not somebody like easy target, like fucking things. Like all, all my friends, like, like rolling their eyes and like, uh, uh, I guess he doesn't care about starving children. What the, what in the fuck? You know how many people are going to starve if we don't get the fuck off this shithole planet? Like the guy is like, what, what is he? Like, like what, what, go pick on Philip Morris. Jesus Christ. The guy's just a cool rich guy, like flinging shit into space. It's like, how, how shit else is anything going to get done around here? you got to throw cars out there. I don't know about, you know, he made those flamethrowers. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That seems kind of, what are you trying to pull? Why are you making flamethrowers? I, I think his joke is that he's a Bond villain and that he, like, I don't know. It's yeah, like, but if your joke is that and then you start, like, producing C4 explosives for fun and profit, like, I mean, aren't you just doing that? I don't think that he's in the in the sense that maybe we are. I don't think that he's an out and out like liberal. I don't think that he thinks that everything needs to be regulated and and babysat and stuff. He might be something closer to a libertarian. We probably have political differences in the in in that regard. But the same kind of hubris is it like he gets shit done and he doesn't to start a GoFundMe to say like, hey, if we all put our hands together, maybe we can pray and get into space. And like, I can put, it's like he just does crazy shit. It's like, well, I'll just make baseball hats and I'll fund an entire fucking piece of space equipment. And it's like people buy it. It's like there's like he to me, he represents the interesting aspect of like, like, like when we talk about capitalism's evils. We're really talking about unimaginative pieces of shit who are cheating. They're not actually capitalists. They're thieves because they're not interested in competing. They're not interested in, um, uh, uh, you know, like actual um, stirring of the economy. They want to like miser their money and like use it to just like make more money. And they're like not even actually playing the game right. And people who are like, hey, well, you know, people are greedy. People don't want to donate stuff. People don't want to pitch in. So maybe if I said look at this fucking cool thing. Would you give me a dollar? And then everyone wants to be cool and gives me a dollar and it raises all this money that couldn't otherwise be raised by Sally Struthers crying into a camera. And we use it to then try to further the species before it goes extinct. Like, like have some like hail Mary or something like the guy does have plans. No one else has a fucking plan. 
like 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 the closest guy the second place plan to his is uh, i don't know some guy we had on our show that wants college to be more affordable and then the third after that is a fucking nazi that wants to build a wall um who's that i ain't got no plan charles Man. fleischer <laughs> yeah <laughs> we'll have him on as a guest to defend his wall but i don't know just, his theory is that if you build a wall around charles fleischer um It'll help. It'll amplify his voice. Um, uh, 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 all right. There was a. All right. Well, let's bring up Rob Schraub because. Uh, oh shit! Try to that. Where's your music? Where's his music? Dum 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 dum. Rob Schraub on the stage, everybody. Oh shit! Yo. Bow down and worship the man that you don't deserve, Rob. Cheapy peepy shroud. Hello, everyone. Cheapy. Hello, Jeffrey. What's up, Rob? How you doing, man? Hmm. Is it true that somebody changed your Wikipedia page to Rob I Cheapy think I Peepy Shroud? Did you do that? Because <laughs> I saw a little something. Was it you? No, but I, I, I didn't know if that was Be a photo. Be honest. I, it was not me, I swear to God. Would you know how to do it? I, I, I mean, I could probably Photoshop it if it, you gave me an afternoon, but it, it, I, 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 that, that was either a, a, a bit that somebody was doing. I'm pretty sure it's a bit. Yeah. I don't think that's You don't think someone name. actually thought they were correcting the record? Because I don't really know how the vicissitudes of uh, Wikipedia work because my Wikipedia page is hilariously inaccurate. So maybe someone could just go on and change your, give you a nickname on it. No, you can, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but in the, I mean, we, look, I don't want to start rehash the argument, but it did, it seemed conclusive that Rob's a cheapy pee pee, like from, from that story. Like it wasn't, he got mad Which, about yeah, it. I mean, story. think about it. He the, wanted to try iPad Dan's story. iPad. Uh, yeah, think about it. Just think about it. I mean, if you put it under the microscope, I think he, that, I it's think really, that really the only thing you can con conclude from that. Cheapy Will you fucking turn your phone that on? That was my mute? fault. I was texting Steve. <laughs> All right, wait. Okay, Lick, look. I Anybody I else would do that. He would hit the roof. He'd be like, hey, yeah, I'm I, trying to talk. I run a tight show. I'm trying to talk, thing. and you're yeah. Steve just texts us. Turn your calendar show. mentions off, for yeah. fuck's sake. Yeah, I'm nothing. To, to, oh, careful. I'm nothing nothing trying but order to, around here. I'm so trying to talk about Elon Musk. I'm trying to talk about Elon Musk. And to the dick of it, Elon Musk. Why do you make flame And to the dick of it, Elon Musk. It's a Bond villain joke. I want to talk about a but Bond villain. But he really villain. did it, though. What do you think people are going to do with those flamethrowers? Clear brush? They're going to hang them on the wall and say, I got one of 20,000 flamethrowers that... that I think uh, it's cool. That, that a fucking historical dude made. Yeah, but, I think uh, he's cool that he's I, making I, I, I space travel interesting again. I mean, we used to be so excited about it. And then those... And then we all Teachers got bored died. by it. Yeah. And then we were all like, fuck this, know. this is too yeah, boring. And then, and and then, then have everybody's be... going, yay, we're, we're, we're doing something the futuristic again. The finally. rocket's amazing. The Falcon Heavy is, is an amazing piece of equipment. Yeah, I love it. I you would have it. done I, it I, different. I, 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 it I teared up had, watching like, it drinks. because it's so magnificent. <laughs> And then just a red convertible. It's like it's just like you couldn't have picked a more midlife crisisy thing to put in space. <laughs> well, he's going through his midlife crisis. I know, thank but God. He, uh, okay, <laughs> yeah, good. But say that, but he's like, oh, he, he kind of laughed it up. It's, he, he he grew up. He saw heavy metal as a kid, and he went, never, "I want to do that." And he does this. Yeah, and it's like it's like uh, imagine all the kids going like, "Look, I uh, like like I, I didn't know you could just fucking do anything." Like, 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 like exactly. I, didn't, I didn't know space. For me, the space shuttle was like that because it didn't look like a dumbass rocket. Like, like, like it all of a sudden it had wings. So, so like remember bit. them? They would just be like these dumbass rockets, man. <laughs> yeah. Remember <laughs> that? You, when they, they would, uh, USA. I think the fire will come from it's here. So Why do you sound sarcastic? <laughs> Don't you agree with me? Fuck Cheapy, those things. Peepy, fuck you. They look like missiles. No, the like Saturn, oh, the Saturn V is the greatest thing the humans have ever built. The they Saturn look v like rocket. a fucking and, missile, and you know it. They look like a fucking dumb, like, like white a goddamn missile. Not a big old. Dick. Space shuttle was a You're little just mad look. because there wasn't a Tesla inside it, and there well, wasn't yeah. a cool. Uh, what, do you, what do you What do you want? You wanted a suit to come out of the heavy I, yeah, Falcon. I, I, I wanted a big oh, yeah. bucket of Viagra to pour out of it, <laughs> and, and, and just fucking just like what What says 
uh, midlife crisis erectile def- dysfunction more than sending your your hot shot convertible. I know, and then, yes, and he had the fucking Bowie playing. I know it made people like space more, but if and he had a Douglas if, if Adams it thing. If it that the... to make you like space, then remember you relate to the space. <laughs> so it would have been better if he did hated nothing. space, huh? It would have been better if he did nothing. I I would have I would have liked to have been in the conversation and thrown a couple other ideas. Yeah, why can't we just involve for... Jeff in the decision? Well, making. he might he might he, you know we're we're more within reach of getting him on this podcast than any podcast I could ever name. You hear me, Marin? Uh, oh, and man. Uh, uh, now again, we're blowing it. We're blowing it. I would have sent. I would say again. I would have sent a instead of the concrete block that they use to simulate mass for the for the for the payload. I would have sent an enormous cufflink. Because I think that sends them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but the thing is, just one. Just, just one. one. Because uh, the implication is, we're not ready yet, folks. Or, or <laughs> if if there is intelligent life out there and they see one giant cuffling out there, they're going to go, oh, they're, they're, they're snake monster. They're, they're asking us to make contact. Oh. And, and we're going to link up. <laughs> what if it, I mean, cufflinks. he's got, like, the world is watching. He could have done anything. He could, I mean, he could have opened up. The nose cone opened up, and it would have been like just a big butt. That it kind of was, something. wasn't it? I mean, is it, is why, is well, it? what does your butt look like? Well, One, uh, does it look like a car? It kind of was. It's I don't a know. car, not a butt. Wait, are you pro car or not? I thought you were with me and pro I'm anti you. <laughs> because you cheapy peeped him. You you gave him yeah, the you're heavy cheapy peep. Me, you're making fun of me. Can you're I get you cheap? Shh, pee, 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 shots can I, at your friend can I, when you offered saying, hey, could I do this? Can I get... Uh, you, you, you're the one that started vilifying me in the story about you coming to pick it up and me giving you a drink. You were the villain! I didn't have how to vilify is the villain, anything! How does a villain give people iPads? What, 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 what country are you from? I'm from the same country you are. You know this. We've known each, I've known you since you were 19. It's a rhetorical question. Okay. Can I can I shift our target so that we can, for once in our friendship, know the same enemy? Because I met the biggest asshole in the world tonight. Oh shit! Yeah, the, the worst server. Uh, uh, far cry from biggest asshole. Servers are, you know, at right. least they're serving. Um, is bartender at Rustican. Um, uh, he he he. He comes over. He's got a big giant tray covered in like, like, shots that look like kind of reddish. Like you don't know what's in them. You know that there's a mixture of something. It's not like I bet there are Washington apples. uh, He comes over, and uh, and 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 he goes, uh, uh, shot, shot. And he puts one down in front of Waldron, one one down in front of me. And I and I I go I, I I go, what is it? And and he as if he couldn't wait to be asked that like obviously he goes and he stops and he goes like <laughs> why is it that people always ask that when they're getting free shit and I was like and I was like and what is it and he's like it's a fucking apple apple japple uh, crapple napple whatever the fuck crap and he keeps apple. going away and I'm like by the way fuck you how, what what in the fucking rape culture what is this what, how about rape culture herpes is free what the how about i'm not a materialistic Definitely person rape I, mean, I just want to know what the fuck is in my drink you asshole what if i have a fucking allergy what the fuck are you talking about what is oh, the free you're not fucking prometheus because you're robbing your employer and pouring free shots because by the way then he turns down the jukebox after everyone's got the shot oh. he turns down the jukebox and he makes this announcement, this weird fucking Wait. millennial twee story about how his mom's car broke down, and this is the song that was playing when it broke. I, I don't even, I couldn't even, my 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 Gen X like fucking anti twee shield just, just like filtered it all out. I could, all I heard was him talking in this Kermit the Frog voice, uh, like monopolizing everyone's attention because his giving of free shots, which of course tasted like shit. Of course they did. I now have diabetes and whatever the fuck he has on his fingers. Um, I drank it out of obligation to his fucking mom who lost her car. I, 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 worst person, worst person I've met all day. What, what was the song? I can't, I, I, I don't know. What is a twee? Twee was a phrase we started using in the, like early thousands to kind of dismiss the emerging kind of, uh, I had to look up an urban twee, dictionary word today. But not including me. 
I mean, probably, I don't know. Maybe not you. Obviously, you're asking what twee is. It's a word that, that people started using to be kind of like every refer to everything Zoe Deschanel was doing. Anything you wanted to be dismissive of because it was adorkable or 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 you know, like 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 songs that 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 have toy xylophones in them or, instead of yeah, real or instruments. like kind of saccharine cutesy pie. Kind yeah, of just stuff. sort of like the 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 the, the adult the adult children that were starting to release like the Bjorks. Cute, cute music. The Bjorks. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I imagine "twee" being a very subjective phrase. You, you could argue that Bjork was "twee," but then again, she's also like very, you know, like she's been around for a long time and, you know, doesn't just. You're a fan. Of course, I'm a Bjork fan. We should get her on the show. I'll <laughs> tweet her. I'd like no, to tw- be on t- your show. You should just tweet her. Um. I, re- I wrote a joke uh, as I pulled up with church today. I told Dan. Dan was pretty. pretty what excited is about that it. joke? Uh, <laughs> Dan was pretty excited about it. I'm still already, workshopping just thinking about it. St- I'm, st- I'm still workshopping at church. I think it's ready for the big time. Church almost, church was almost uh, beside herself with gales with laughter. No, I I happened upon that scene. Church was, she we, was. We were talking about Steven Tyler from Aerosmith, and well, we were talking about the Beatles. Well, and the joke vocals, was involving like, you know, music, the evolution of of people like like screaming, you know, like in songs and stuff like that. And uh, so, I, like, I'm still workshopping, and this is not a finished product. This is why we have podcasts. Let's hear your let's happy joke. Yeah. Maybe I Reddit tomorrow. Maybe done. Reddit tomorrow will help me perfect this. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> they usually add value. What ingredients does Stephen Tyler of Aerosmith use to make his Irish coffee extra special? <laughs> <laughs> it's worse than what I heard you. T- <laughs> it's gotten worse. <laughs> Oh, what was the original setup? Well, it was just what's his favorite liqueur. Oh yeah, what what is Stephen? Okay, okay, let's keep it simple. What what is Aerosmith Stephen Tyler's favorite liqueur? What? Crumble <laughs> cacao. Never heard. That's, that again is a fucking perfect joke. <laughs> That's a timeless. You'll be telling it to your grandchildren. <laughs> Long you know, after Elon Musk's Tesla has fucking <laughs> like degraded into the sun's gravity. Yeah, a guy who floats <laughs> puns like that huh? is offended by our roadster. I look, a I spacebound d- roadster that's collecting data about radiation and uh, all kinds of space crap. Your job is Thank to love God. cars in space. My job is to write perfect, timeless jokes. <laughs> I gotta say, I heard you tell that joke outside the outside the the yeah. castle and. Um, I didn't actually hear it properly. I just yeah. heard like the what do you call it? The like, payoff, the punchline. No, just like the, the the way the band, like the way you talk. And, oh, uh, you, yeah, you, you, and you were already repulsed. And so no, I had to fill it in with like just my own brain based on your cadences and stuff. And so my what I heard your version of the joke was, uh, what's Steven Tyler's favorite vegetable? K k k k kale. <laughs> and then I was like, this seems like a bad joke. <laughs> Yes, but because you, you misheard my perfect Yeah, no, I, I, I didn't do it right. Don't get me wrong. See, there's jokes that last, like, the Parthenon still stands, not in its former glory, but that's eons of time has passed. This joke will be one of those jokes that, that we will all be telling. Yeah, no one's arguing. Yeah. I have a question. What do you guys... <laughs> Church hates it. What do you guys think dogs think music is? Uh, uh, do, 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 do they do they understand that it's uh it's coming through a speaker or because they they sit and act like it's fucking nothing but if a dog barks in a movie they lose their right. shit well they, i've got like music i got a playlist that's like music for dogs i, I play that while i stretch after my exercise. i play that like sometimes when i leave the apartment and i do it. feel like the dogs fucking like it i yeah. can't i mean it's but it's weird it's, it's not really music scientific. They can't get enough it's like it. or there there's like i don't know what it's is basically it? cla- it's a it's bunch classic of classical music, music but... that has certain like tonalities in it that relaxes the dog and i would put it on every time kate and i would leave so lolly wouldn't freak out and feel sad because like my heart goes out to her because all we are, are all, all she has is us, and we are about to leave. And <laughs> and I would put it on, and it would work. But then there would get to a point where when she would hear that music, it meant we're leaving. Oh. And then she would get, she would put on the act. Get ready. Yeah. Here's the, she would be like. I'll just play a little bit of. I think it's it's classical, so it's really not. I don't so think the music would go on like Kevin this. Day's going to be like, you can't, you played the... Oop. 
Oh, Spotify know. has been paused because your account is being used. Kevin the dogs are listening to this right now. <laughs> but the music would go on, and then Lolly would watch us. What's that? Sorry. So the, uh, this music Rob would go on, and up. then uh, Lolly would look at, at Kate and I at the door like, He's acting. Dog's like really sad music. This is the dog of music. Like it's got puppy dog eyes, this music. Yeah, this I kind of like it. I've come to really like it because I shower yeah, with this it. This is like the Snoopy go home. This like, is like I, uh, blow I switched your brains from out Foo music. Fighters to this after, I, after I've ripped my fucking delts. Um, after I fucking blasted them. You love blasting like, delts, I've known. Yeah. I've, I've, I, I, you I've like been blasting on delts. I fucking blasted my delts. Where are your delts? Uh, uh, sh shoulders. I might be right. Yeah, nice try. Dan, when was the last time you got your big on? My big? Yeah, when you got your big on. B-I-G? My, uh, yeah, your big my, on. My biceps. Uh, yeah, no, 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 when you got your, you, know, you get, you just, when you're pumping, oh, when you're blasting. Wait, wait, you, you, do you want to know if I, I've become swole? Did you get your big on? I'm trying to, to get swole on the yeah. reg. Yeah. Fam. So, yeah. Uh, so but, you, you, so, but then so, I switch so you, to this when I do my Vitruvians with my uh, weights and then uh, and then my stretching and I I find it calms me down. Maybe I'm a dog, but anyways, I'm just saying like a, a dog is a, a dog is I, there was a dog at the Rustic Inn, you know, and it's sitting there and it's like at its owner's feet and it. It's, it's, I, I, I get so distracted because I'm like I'm trying to talk to Waldron about the movie we're working on, and I, I what like, movie? Can't tell you. I'm, oh, what movie? Can't tell you. Edgar Wright will go piss. Oh, me. we what? Wow, a movie. Uh, we like what a fucking. Is it Gumby? It's it's as dumb. I I I, 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 I I like Gumby. I'm still writing shit that dumb, yes, for hire, uh, which means for getting fired a year from now. Um, but uh, I could I was distracted by this dog because I was like, there's a dog at a bar. Like I'm always I know that someone's eventually going to step on its uh, tail or something. It drives me nuts. Uh, but uh, I was just watching the dog, and it's just like it's just, you know, there's all, this, all this fucking music playing and there's people talking. And I was just wondering what is the dog like. How does it stay sane? And also, if it understands, does it understand that the, the jukebox is playing like, oh, that's like a guy. They like to listen to each other bark. And then they must be really pissed, like, because we're, we're like, when, when we get mad that they're barking, they're like, I can't fucking say one thing around here. Like, like these people are always talking. Yeah. Well, if they're not talking. They're listening to talking. Well, well, dogs react to different sounds d differently. Like, Lolly will. There'd be there's cars driving all over the place. Whatever people are walking down like that, down the sidewalk. She doesn't give a shit. Skateboard, she goes fucking nuts, man. She does not like skateboard sounds. When hmm. she hears the click 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 of going down the side, goes fucking crazy. Hmm. Goes fucking crazy. Here's the dump truck. Goes fucking crazy. Here's the bus. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Here's uh, a bicycle. I don't give a shit. What is that? So that's that's got to that's, that's that's be frequency stuff. Like, like yeah, the, but it's like we we were talking about this like a couple times. You know, now that there's like HD screens and things like that, more and more dogs yeah. are paying attention to the screen. When it was like standard deaf, right? They didn't give a shit. But now, Lolly will stare and watch. TV with me mm -hmm. and will go absolutely crazy when any kind of cartoon dog Yeah, we can't watch anything with up. animals in it. Yeah. Like, I can't play video games with the animals in it. No, no, no. And it's not and it's and it's dogs. Like Brian from Family Guy, which is a bipedal, he's like holding drinks and he's talking like that. Lolly will go cheese <laughs> So she, she recognizes a non quadrupedal like if Goofy yeah, walked on I just, the screen, she would go crazy, but would not give a I fuck had, about I had a, Mickey Mouse. Intervention episode, and there was a and the, to fucking Harvey just starts going ape shit, and uh, 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 Ken Seeley's talking, and and he's like, you gotta recover, you gotta, you don't understand, is this a problem that your sister has? You gotta support her, and and Harvey's like, rawr, rawr, rawr. I'm like, what is it, Harvey? What is he? You, you don't like his enabling? And, and, and I was like, there's like, he's in a what, another shitty intervention hotel. There's a fucking 
drawing, a shitty drawing, like a, just a minimalist fucking like zen crap art, like hotel art, like idea of a dog, like piece of art on the yeah. wall. It was like a yeah. like a couple lines you'd use to make the shape of a dog. And he's like, arr, arr, arr. <laughs> when like, I was when I was when I was editing the uh, Portuguese Gremlins trailer for for community this is, this is my favorite joke and uh it's you don't know it i've never told it it's not a joke it's more of an anecdote but i will continue anyway uh <laughs> lolly was sitting there next to me while we're doing it and there's the point where the the eyes change where it's just like the the gremlin looking into the screen with its cat eyes which i went to a taxidermist and i got like real like animal eyes and it's just the face going mm, like a freeze frame of it and its eyes change color lolly went fucking crazy just went crazy that this, this this like bobcat eyed thing was looking through the magic window at her yeah i told the story on here of that like when i was married to mcgathy she uh she she recorded harvey and then she airplayed it and then she recorded him reacting to him being airplayed and then she recorded that and then airplayed that and i and, and i came into the room because the sounds harvey was making were so fucking insane <laughs> because it was like he was he was either losing his mind or worse gaining it yeah he was i think he was consciousness was coming so so I was like you, honey if you keep doing this thing has a jaw that can snap our throats in half uh, uh, it, it's only kept in line by its ignorance. So you're making it self-aware. It's going to be waiting for us in the kitchen one morning with, uh, with uh, the neighbor's head on a plate. Why don't you eat out of the bowl? <laughs> what? So wait a minute. When you say he, she's, she's airplane, well, you mean like she's, she's, was she doing video of him and then putting it yeah. on the big screen? Yeah. She, and yeah. Then video of yeah that? She had two devices oh, okay. going. Was was Harvey like looking at? Yeah, he was. Like, he was looking at the back of himself, barking at the TV, which had a Harvey on it that was barking. The original was, you yeah, know, it, it was like Enter the Dragon with Bruce Lee. Yeah, the it was like was, Infinity Harvey, and and the, when and the real Lee life was, Harvey was like progressively going like, I am. I am. <laughs> Have you ever like taken like a, like a wind up like? dog toy or any kind of like you know quadruped like thing that barks or winds up a robot dog thing and put it in front of nigel and harvey i can't i don't remember we, we i've done this with lolly like maybe three times in in my life with her thinking like this will be cute she'll like oh what this cute toy uh, we, we got like this dog toy that was like all furry and you turn it on and it walks 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 and goes ark, 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 and walks 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 and barks like bark put it down lolly hits the fucking roof she's just like jeez what is what is this what is this thing what is this what is this thing it has no soul what is this why are you doing turn it off Get it away from me! Get it away! What is this? Lolly could not handle it. I put it out there to the uh, fans uh, to put that to music at some point. <laughs> well, it's like it's like if send that to my Twitter account like imagine, or to harmontown.com. Imagine if I brought in I like a will robot, pay you top dollar for that. a robot human person who walked in. <laughs> <and just laughs> <was like. laughs> yeah, well, if octopus creatures came from outer space and, ah, they, right. and they and the the, the flying saucer door came open and they came out and they looked at us for a second and then they took some measurements with the octopus rulers and then they went they went mm, 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 and they went back inside and then <laughs> that came down as like, like this fucked up like oh. hey, hello I'm, I'm from octopus world it's my cool. name is oh, frank my. it's like it, it's like watching fucking polar express did you uh did, did lolly watch shape of water and what did she think about it <laughs> uh no she didn't yeah and uh she hasn't yet because she hasn't seen it See, uh, answer one. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, the fucking dogs. Dogs, every I morning. I we were going to light a rose. Every goddamn morning, 8 o'clock, I get up, I work out, 
because I'm fucking so blasting early. my delts. That's an early time. And hey, uh, did you get your big on? Same time every morning, Dash, my neighbor's cat, uh, comes over uh, and uh, same same. It's got the same Has schedule. Has a cup of coffee. It like hangs out the in my window. yard. Hey, fucking Harvey and Nigel just like. These guys, like, it's it just like, I, it, it, I just, what is it, like, what is it like to be a dog? Like, they just, they are meeting that cat for the first time and each other for the first time every five minutes. Like, they're just so amazed that there's a cat in the yard and they're just like, like, just yelling at it. Like, are they yelling, get away? Are they yelling, get over here? Like, I had a cat and they were relentless. They would, Harvey wouldn't leave the fucking cat alone. Like, I, I, it was, the, I, I regret it for the rest of my life subjecting think, Fiv I, to that. I think, like, I think, like, Lolly barks at big dogs and any dog that stares her down. Like, and I don't think it's, I don't think she's like, I'm afraid of you. So my reaction is to make a lot of noise and, and jump around and get you to run away because you probably will eat me. And I think your Harvey thinks he's a small dog. I think, yeah, I, 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 but, but, but I know that if I let him out when the cat was there, I know the cat would run away. Right. If he came running out because he's a giant dog. But I also know, and maybe this is to your point, kind of, but, uh, he wouldn't eat it. He wouldn't like no. attack it. He, no. he he would terrorize it because he he's a fucking giant fucking moron. But like 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 the cat would be traumatized. But he would like run out. He would want to. He wants to play with the cat. Why do you bark at something you want to play with? Why well, do, what, I, what is I he saying? Like, hey, I think he's hey, confused. Friends, I think he, I, friends. Yeah, I think he's <laughs> running up and going, "Are you a friend? Are you a friend?" But. You look like you don't. You look. You're not responding the way you should. But friend, friend, friend no, no, no. But he's I caught think he's behind confused. glass. That's the other thing. It's like they're, they're, the the weird selective ability for dogs to be a part of our world. Like they understand almost perfectly where your front yard is they 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 have like this these weird they, they just blend into your world they understand what windows are they know that they can't get through them so they just stand there and bark at them and they they don't even ever try to like bang their head against the glass to get through it they don't forget that glass is is an invisible barrier but they don't remember what the fucking cat is they're just like so goddamn amazed that it's a cat Sil silverman had like a great theory about like a dog's perspective of an elevator like they've got to think it's a time machine <laughs> <laughs> like you go in the doors open up and now the furniture's different what's going on here all right i must be 10 years in the future and i was like that's a fucking pixar movie you gotta do that i wonder if they do that what's, I wonder, what's, I wonder what's if that they, movie called uh, up i wonder if they Question keep track it's of called those. it's called pup in an elevator and the, the soundtrack is by steven tyler uh I wonder if they keep they but that they keep track of uh, of 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 Pop in of an elevator and all that stuff. Like we would if we were if we didn't have certain uh, advantages, we would think it was a time machine. But they're like, I'm going up three floors. I'm going up like thirty dog units. You know, like they because they you know all those stories about dogs that like they jump out a window and then they find their way home and you know they 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 like they're they're like always they have like a little GPS in their head. So they're probably like, oh, I'm in a box and it's got no windows. I wish I had a window so I could stick my head out of it. What is up with that shit? Dogs, the, the dogs, you put a cat in a car and the cat's like, God damn it, what the fuck is this? God damn it, get me out of here. Are you fucking kidding me? I mean, I, I don't, I didn't want to be in a, this small a space uh, uh, involuntarily in the first place. Now it's moving? Are you out of your goddamn mind? I'm going to piss on your face if I can. Like, it's rare to find a cat that's like down with a, with a joyride. Uh, they kind of either go catatonic or they just fucking like freak out. Dogs are just like, I can't believe they stick their head out the window. It, They're into like it. Fireworks. Why would you be into that? It's like they, the world just, is throwing them a tennis ball. They I, don't. I they, don't they, they like Lolly will look out the window and just be like. It's insane to what me that they're into that. What is this shit? That would what be like, is going on here? It's like my legs aren't moving, but I'm running really fast. <laughs> I, what is going on? I can't believe what they're, is just, they're just down with that. Well, it's like if we if we were experiencing something that we just didn't understand and it just kept happening to us, we would be fascinated by it. 
Yeah, well, I, I would be. Well, I know, but it's like it, it. First and foremost, I agree with the cat, and the cat cats are smart too. Like cats never get used to it; they never come around and go like. And then on the other hand, it's kind of cool to be a really fast cat, like uh, and taste the wind. Like cats love running quickly, and cats love the world. Cats love to look at things. Like, but dogs are just like, look, man, <laughs> they're just like there's just a weird canine relationship they, they with love, humans they where they're just like I, they I love trust stimuli, you. like like the wind in their yeah. face, like it's it's a lot happening. Yeah. Smells, okay. yeah. They're they're they they're they're watching like they're they're watching five channels at the same time. So they, they you probably they you wouldn't put a dog in Elon Musk's car out in outer space because there's no wind and there's no smells out there. You no, could. there's a bunch of radiation, which is data we're getting right now. Would you put data out in space? Sure, sure, I would. Data's already out in space. Not anymore. Our show's canceled. <laughs> wow. Oh, so, um, um, little mic drop. Sl- no. <laughs> um, <laughs> Rob is doing the he's, the, he's the Geppetto of mic drop. Mic drop. It's a mic tea bag. That's how they do it in London. <laughs> That's how they drop the mic in London. Like a tea bag? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he's, the queen does it. And you will be able to get... All of your pumpkins for free this evening. Uh, <laughs> my favorite part of that, of course, is the rift, what a queen would say that would provoke a mic drop, which turned out to be free you, pumpkins. You won't be getting your free pumpkins. You won't be getting any. <laughs> you won't be t- is, getting taken advantage of <laughs> I'm no world traveler. I'm no geopolitician. I don't know what what's going on in England, but... Wow, that it's is a... Brexit is really fucking. Yeah, it's a whole it's a whole Brexit thing. <laughs> yeah, it's Brexit. You know, yeah, there's been a whole gourd yeah. crisis. Over you there. see yeah. that uh, Winston Churchill movie? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, great performance. Really interesting, as you said. It's kind of like, well, it's like a, it's yeah. like like watching an episode of, uh, what'd you say, Doctor, The Crown? Doctor Who. What's this called? Our, no, the the finest hour. The, 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 what's the Gary Oldman one? What's it called? God, the darkest hour. Darkest. Yeah. I, I, I have the screener. I haven't watched. I was really it. amazed. I, I, Obviously, this is the whole point of, of every, every, everything, but I was, like, amazed at how actually true it was. I don't know what I expected, but, like, how, like, Winston Churchill's absolute – this guy who you've – there's a million quotes from, quotes that truly you're like, wow, one guy said all this shit? He's like the fucking Vince Lombardi of <laughs> – <laughs> of World War II. He really had a lot of sh- profound ways of phrasing this shit. Um, and, 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 uh, but, and then you watch the movie and it's like, oh, yeah, that's all he did. Like, he was like, he just, he just fucking talked. Like, this, I mean, I don't know what else I expected to see. Like, a, a young Winston Churchill, like, vaulting over a, a, a you know, with Wolverine claws that were still bone and hadn't been infused with titanium yet. I'm impressed in the world that, that most of the great, like, actors now are from the... Adamantium. Don't write in. Continue. <laughs> Like all the big actors seem to be from like the UK or the Antipodes, and like 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 but we had an American actor playing Winston Churchill. That's kind of amazing. Oh, I didn't know Gary Oldman was American necessarily. I mean, he played so many like different characters. I didn't know. Actually, I, I don't know. Is, is, is I he, think I, he's. I, Br- I, I, I think thought he was American. I thought he was British. Is he English? I thought he was English. I didn't know this. I, I you, you know you, you, I mean well John Lith- Lithgow did Winston Churchill in The Crown, and he is American. And he is. American, and his mouth is a circle. circle. No, you it's make me your mouth into a circle. Oh, uh, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, Winston Churchill. Oh, oh, oh there. The oh, only oh, thing we have to fear oh, is being misquoted. Oh, 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 oh come on. Now speak softly and oh, have, have another quote mis- oh, misappropriated. Oh, no. Stop. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Think of one of my real quotes. I don't know what you mean. My oh. mouth a circle. Oh, oh. <laughs> daddy, I was the church. Daddy, daddy, please, daddy. <laughs> can you both do the same scene, but as Harvey Keitel's? Yeah. Harvey can, Keitel. Can you do, can you do a Harvey Keitel? I'll just you give it a look. Why Harvey Keitel? Do I, I don't know. I just picked. I picked one at random. I don't think I could do. Just try what a Harvey Keitel. What are you? What? <laughs> what are you? What are you? What are you? What are you doing? That's good. There it is. That's good. Do you think? Do you think I am? Do you do you think I am doing what you think I am doing? I don't know. I, I just I just know I just know he's a little hard on his zings. That's all I remember about him is he's hard on his zings. Now Juliet Lewis. Hi. 
I'm a natural born killer. I love my favorite. I, I love Juliet Lewis. I, my, my my favorite line of her in Natural Born Killers. She's such a great like in an otherwise. It's it's pretty uncomfortable. I also love Tom Sizemore. I also love Quentin Tarantino. Whatever, go and fuck. You love send, your, send your emails to my ass. Bronson Pinchot. Uh, I I but but but. Sizemore doing the scene in Natural Born Killers where he's like he's in her cell and he wants to <laughs> give me some like, Sizemore. Give me some Sizemore. I don't. There's no Sizemore. There's only Zool. And I don't. I don't. I don't he's Tom Sizemore. He's just talking and he says like I want you to. I want you to. Uh, I want you to uh, pinch my nipple and uh, and put this lipstick on and uh, pinch my nipple while you, while you kiss me or whatever. And then Julia Lewis goes, hmm, so specific. <laughs> The thing. All right. I was impressed by your Harvey Cartel. I have to tell you, that was that was pretty. Uh, what are you? Pretty, what are you? My my can favorite. I ask, can I ask what you? What, what are you doing? I don't know. Uh, yeah, you can, yeah. My favorite Julia Lewis quote from Natural Born Killers. I think it's from one of the deleted scenes when they're like before they go to Drug World after they get bit by all the the uh, rattlesnakes. You know, they have to go and uh -huh. go to, you know. There's this scene where. I'm pretty sure it's in all improv. They like Stone was just like, "Go, just <laughs> jump off the script, do whatever." And L Juliet Will Lewis is like, "Can we get the fuck out of here and get some snake juice, killer?" <laughs> and it's like, "What the f <laughs> snake juice killer?" Uh, Antibiotics. I haven't seen that movie in Spencer, a while. Spencer, would you do? Would you get, do me a favor and do your your famous Selma Hayek impression? Hey, I'm Selma Hayek. <laughs> mm. uh, the Sklar brothers, it's coming in over the wire. Are, uh, we're going to come here. Uh, uh, they're, 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 it sounds like they're not going to make it, but I, I, I do want to. It's uh, snowing out there. I do want to do them the service of plugging their. Uh, Buttholes. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. When I see them again. Um, uh, For too long, the Scholar's buttholes have gone because they've had me on their podcast, Dumb People Town, twice now, and it's great fun. I, I truly love doing it, and they're uh, they're they're good friends. In as much as you can be, be good friends with people you've you've done two podcasts with, but uh, 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 they're uh, they, they were have gonna, a new project. They were going to come here, and they're they're the thing that they were going to plug is a, something we're very excited about. Me a, and Dan. It's a documentary about about something that's not always talked about in public. Feces. It's, it's a, a poop documentary. It's a poop documentary. It, they got their funny friends talking about poop. I think they delve into the history of poop. What was the first thing that could be considered poop? Like, well, I made rocks that up. poop. I, I, I was. That doesn't I, stop me from thinking it. I oh, mean, well, yeah, you, you made you it said, up. I think the. I mean, shouldn't you say? I think I remember Dan doing an awesome riff on how uh, how it might start. No, I remember that being the actual part of the movie. Oh, you saw it as you riffed it. Oh, but like I thought you were being. So you seen the movie or you've not seen the movie? Oh, I've seen it and it changed my life and the way I look at poop forever. Is Dan Dan in the movie? Dan's in the movie. Everyone you want to be in the movies in the movie. I'm, 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 in in you, typical documentary fashion, I, I, I'm in the movie and I, I accomplish the rare task of making you hate me more than poop. As a, as a, that's a joke for my fans who know that every documentary I'm in, I come off like a fucking douchebag. Um, Armantown. The uh, I think it'd be a mistake to make a poop documentary and not put Dan Harmon in it. I exactly. Think. What other documentaries are you in? I was in a the Back to the documentary. Future documentary uh, oh, where they that. used uh, in, over my protests. I was like, please don't. Well, I'm on camera saying, please don't like make me talk about the fact that Back to the Future 2 sucks. <laughs> don't make me talk about it. Well, you weren't the only one in that documentary that said that. I, I'm... I, I, well, if that's true, I, I I know they sandwiched me saying that between like a father and son with different kinds of cancer whose sole way of coping with it is to celebrate Back to the Future 2 and like a mayor who brought jobs to his town by building a Back to the Future 2 statue. And then in the middle is me going like, it sucks. <laughs> Anyways. That sounds like a good creative. Yeah, they, they probably won't um, work with you ever again. <laughs> Yeah, and and also there goes my there goes my pristine PR. What what is the name of the Sklar poop documentary? Everybody poops. 
Nope, that's not what it is. That's not what it is. I'll find out yeah, right after this. Word from our sponsors. Hi, this is Randy Scar and Jason Scar. We made a poop documentary. Well, that's how it Do you like the, team? If Russia. you're a fan of the Sklars and uh, and you and you do or don't like poop, uh, you, you will be interested to know that they're are they work is it, are they releasing it is it or is it like <laughs> are they looking? It's for, a limited release, I guys. We gotta get this ad. We gotta get this ad clean. Or we, we gotta get this poop documentary commercial clean. So let's just take it again from the top. It's going to be uh, a, 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 a a small release. Yeah, that's what poop I poop talk. talk? The Sklar brothers have been talking a lot of shit lately. Literally. Didn't have to put literally there. Could have just stopped it. How would you get that they're joking? It's about poop. You guys are being very jaded, and don't you worry about our friends listening to stuff like this and going like, well, they don't seem to support us very much remember when maybe we should not show up boring. maybe they should have me on their was show this, i mean I, I i'm sad that they're not here tonight because a i love hanging out with them yeah, and talking to them, them but also I, I have a million poop talk questions for yeah them. we really wanted to learn more about the movie and we're excited to do it and Let's, that's the one thing we can't do mm -hmm. without i disagree going to see poop talk so like everyone in america that's listening and also all the other countries uh, Spain. We should all have to go. <laughs> Rob, watch name of, name of seven countries in Europe. You have twenty seconds. Twenty. Uh, he's 20. not trying. I don't want to. 20. He doesn't okay. like being pimped. Like, let name, him, let no. him, let's just no, let him, let him, let him, like, let him, let him do Name his five thing. countries and anywhere in the world. He doesn't like to. playing by rules. If you tell him to, to, you know what, you know how to get Rob to jump through a hoop. Uh, tell 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 him, tell him the hoops uh, I, I, are not for jumping through. Okay, don't don't it's name five countries. Okay. No, no, no. Name another country. I don't know whether to say thank you or f stop welcome. it to Dan. I, I've known you for fifty-seven years. It's true. This guy. I looked at my hands the other day and I went, Jesus Christ. My hands are fucking looking old, man, and they were shaking. They were all wrinkled, and I was like, what the fuck happened to my hands? What happened to my hands? They used to be so s soft. They're, they're, they're all wrinkled and fucking old. I didn't, I, I, I almost started crying. I'm like going, what the hell happened? Can, can you play the dog music while he talks about his hands? <laughs> Just, I, usually, because I, I can't see very I well. Try to relax him. <laughs> I, no, 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 I, I, just, I think it's going to be a nice. Parent. I can't. I can't see very well, so I'm looking at my hands right now without my glasses, and they look like, you know, wa looking at Sybil Shepherd on moonlighting close up. I mean, they're all like, you know, frosted glass looking. They look pretty good. I put on my glasses, my reading glasses, my special close up reading glasses for when I want to look at my phone and read what's on my phone, and I. Turned my palm, uh, my hand around, and I just I looked at my hand, and it was just like I actually noticed how old my hands looked. And I said, "It's it's it's coming. It's it's almost over. It's almost over. It's like you know when you when you take ecstasy for the first time, and it's the best feeling in the world. You know, you're just like, oh my god, and you peek and you go, ah, it's great, and then all of a sudden." You start coming down, and there's like this heartbreak of like, I just got here. I just got here, and I'm coming down. That's what my life is like right now. I just got here, and I'm fading out. The dimmer switch on Trob is turning dim clockwise. Check out Randy and Jason Scalara's Poop Talk. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That was great. That was, a good that, one. was that was fucking heavy. You know what, what? You know what always accentuates for me coming down from the ecstasy of life is that that being the exact chapter of the party where a million strangers burst in and point at you and yell privilege. That's my favorite part of the party. Yeah. Wait, when you're high on on ecstasy? Yeah, it's just a good. Well, no, when I'm dying, when I'm oh, middle yeah. aged, I, I'm. I was just commenting on. Also, it's not a good time to be like we 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 hit it. We hit our peak, and we were we we were, and we weren't ready to you know for the whatever the opposite of the the up 
hill, downhill. I think it is. You know, we weren't. We I'm pretty sure it's not uphill. We weren't ready to. We were ready to be over the hill. I, f- I feel like I hit my peak, like maybe thirty minutes ago with my Steven Tyler <laughs> Kremnik <laughs> cow joke. I felt like that was uh, that's that's me at Mount yeah. Everest, and now it's just going to be a horrible toboggan ride down at the bottom. But I was just saying, like pol- po- politically, fashionably, like partially, probably be because of the just population dynamics. Because the uh, the younger kids, they're like part of a huge shadow of the baby boom. That's like a giant, huge section of the population. Like it became open season on on old people. <laughs> so it's like you're, there's kind of like a you hit the peak and then you start going downhill and then you hear this war cry in the distance. You're like, oh man, well at least it's downhill. And then it's like, oh sh- oh fuck, shit. I am an easy target. I thought I could like slide into like retirement like by the old rules, you know? You're supposed to like get, be a old, a young white man and like become an old white man and then you 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 hoard your privilege and then you you have it in your little sack and then you tiptoe quietly to a wagon and coast downhill into a into a little chalet. I I I, I might not make it. Like there's a there's a price on my scalp. People know that this is the route you take now. Mm-hmm. There's, there's, there's. Uh, I won't call them bandits because they might be heroes. I might be the villain. But there's, there's people on the highway. <laughs> they know I'm here. They're gonna get me. This new Purge movie looks pretty good. Uh, what, uh, uh, what's this one? What's this? it's a Purge equal prequel. 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 Pur- so coming up with the Purge. Coming up with the Purge. It's called the binge. <laughs> 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 yeah. He thought he peaked. Yeah, okay. He thought he peaked. <laughs> God, I still got Oh, my hands just got 5 years younger. My yeah. hands. Hey, look, look, at, look at these. I have Sybil Shepherd moonlighting. You can hands. make your hands young by being funny. <laughs> oh boy, maybe that's that's that explains a lot. Yeah. Oh my god, really? Yeah, we got, this is not yeah, good, I, I, guys. I've got I I've always had oldish looking hands, but the, this the, is really the, the skin gets papery. It looks like 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 rice oh, paper. Oh god, dude. Well, Shrab's it, looking at his hands. I think well, Shrab though, like what you're looking at is the fact that you're oh. old but you're uh you're you're physically fit, so you're you're Yeah, vain. look no, at no, Jeff's these hands. These, this is different. This looks like Tom Savini put latex. Do you no, wear my, gloves my, when Mine you look fine dishes? because I have a layer of fat. No, nah, yours yeah, look my, fine because... No, this this is really <laughs> bad. This is not good, Rob touches guys. a lot of paper, right? You touch paper? Oh. I touch paper. I, I think it really glue. dries out your hands. Do you Probably. moisturize, Rob? Do you use any moisturizer? I try to when I. You guys jerk have off. lower body fat, so you're as you're gonna as you grow older. Which let me what, look at your hands. Yeah, they're just they're, it's, oh it's like God. a plump like pig mm. pig hoof, like no. you can't see veins. But and look at that! Lines. It's like a baby. These are baby hands. Well, These are baby hands. Yeah, it's just not baby good hands. when you're 45. That let's means look you're at the youngest of... person's hands. All right, let's see. I got please. I got baby hands too. Sorry, they're wet. Let's take his hands. Free Jack. You can't. Oh, you've seen yeah. Free Jack? That was just on seen How Did Free This Jack. Get It was my prom theme. <laughs> oh, I'm calling Pinterest. Way to go, phone. Are they going to pick up? Yes. Man, Pinterest still picks up Rob's calls. Dan, be honest. Scale of 1 to 10. Jeff doesn't have a mic. Scale of, scale of 1 to 10, Dan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My creme de cacao, Stephen Tyler joke. But be honest. What is it? One, one being. Uh, one, a zero being, I hate you. I, you. You should never tell another joke. Ten being the world's funniest joke. I don't think it's going to be above five. I just want to know what you like. What can I? Can I give you a note that'll take it from four to eight? Absolutely. Um, I, I didn't say this was a completed joke. I, I thought of this as we pulled up to the Starburns Castle. This is just a performance. It's a cosmetic. I just. I need you to punch creme. Creme de cacao. Yeah, okay. it's it it that's easy. It, that's it, it's it's I I I that's the first time when you just said creme de cacao. I didn't. I, that's the first time I was like, oh, I know what he's talking about. Oh, okay. Because I, I it was like cacao, like before creme de cacao. Creme de you gotta cacao. you gotta you gotta you gotta hit the creme. I think you gotta really land the creme like obnoxiously, like creme de cacao. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. even then, you're you're talking no, about but what? Then, look, I think I had a perfect joke. I like I I'd say I'd say ten. Uh, uh, of all of your uh, wordplay assaults, 
on the, the, the public. Have we? Have we did, did would be? Did, the, we, did uh, we try to tell the Thor joke on on the show yet? No, the Thor. Yeah, no, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I don't want to go through this again. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, we did that. Well, we did I the. Don't want to go through this again. No, but your uh, your uh, your see an enemy joke. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a great joke. He did. He did that in fucking Sketchfest, man. It's a great joke. Yeah, I know. Okay, I'm do just it saying, again. like that's a ten. Do it again. Oh, no. Seeing enemies a ten. Well, I. I love it. Thank a, you. All right. Seeing okay, enemies. Let's great. go around the room. That those are the scores of your jokes. <laughs> Dan, what are Rob's jokes? What are what are the scores of some of my jokes? Rate shrobbing. I love shrobbing. Shrobbing is a timeless enterprise, and people think they can shrob you, but they can't shrob you right. And and people are doing some faux shrobbins. Yeah. They, no, it's it's. And it's I, really I want those real shrobbins. I don't have a good enough memory, and I'm not a good enough friend, but. So I only remember the most recent one, which is the Courtney Cox, who's now absolutely officially friends with Cody. Um, Courtney Love or Courtney Love? Did I say Courtney Cox? Oh yeah. my God! Sorry, yes, to, sorry okay. to both. Sorry to all Courtneys. Uh, but uh, uh, did you think it was an Instagram or a Twitter? Was, uh, where uh, like publicly, uh, Courtney Love goes. Uh, uh, or Co- Cody says, "Like thanks, uh, thanks for saying that. I, uh, uh, we should hang out." And then, and then Courtney Love replies, "Like yeah, I, I'd, I'd love to do that. We should hang out." And then it's just and Shrab going, "Like yeah, I'm free anytime." I don't know. It's just, it's just really funny. Like that's what I do. Uh, <laughs> the joke is, nobody wants me around. <laughs> that's the joke. Is that the joke? I, I don't know. It's not the joke. Remember when Shrab became like for a twenty four hour news cycle, like a famous <laughs> a famous troll. Just, just completely independent. The king of, of all trolls. Anything, like no one writing any of these articles knew about anything else that Shrab had ever done. Fucking dipshit. But it was like just because Kumail read Shrab's <laughs> uh obnoxious uh uh redundant question tweets uh on on the air. That and, was like, so long ago. And it, I and feel and like then that it was like was all like these articles ago. like Jimmy Kimmel or Fallon or what? One of those things or no? No, no, no. I think it was it was on Harmontown. I think it was from Harmontown. Oh. Yeah. But that was like so long ago. That was like that was like maybe three years ago. Maybe even four. Yeah. Wow. It's before. That's a lot of years. Harris died. Yeah. How long have we been doing Harmontown? It oh, it's uh, at it's least so five years. Five? I would say I would say so long that it's sad, but. It's good because we've gone through transformations because it's not really the same podcast. I listened to the Cheapy Peepy episode uh, earlier today. <laughs> really insulting. It's actually, hurtful. Really insulting. It's actually I mean, really good. I really enjoyed it. Sad. Sad that you feel comfortable enough to talk to people like that. That's right? why I'm a little lighter. Now, this one will suck, I'm sure, because, I, because in you, that one you yeah. can hear me going, this episode sucks. Like, whoa, whoa, this episode sucks. I was wrong the whole time. It's it's like gold. It's gold, Cheapy Peepy. It's like top ten. Mm. Top ten. Stop it's a top ten it. episode. Yeah, Stop. we can't Amazing. follow cheapy people with, people with music for dogs. Yeah. Yeah, no, this has yeah. been awful. Probably because I'm in high spirits. I don't know. There might be something. Maybe I need to be an abbot. You know, maybe that's my thing. I'm complaining the whole time. I'm like, oh, you guys are picking on me. I hate you. I'm annoyed with you. I wish. I wish my podcast was better. You know, like maybe my lot in life is just to be uh, miserable. I don't know. Maybe when I'm happy. That's what I think. Uh, uh, or my therapist says, Dan, when you're certain, you're in trouble. Dan Harmon. You're better off not being certain. That's when you excel, when you don't know things, when you're confused. People need you to be uncertain. You, not everybody, you. Dan, when you're certain, like every time you think you know something for sure, just stop. Just go soak your head in a bucket. And you were like, how much does this cost? (laughs) I think it's two dollars. I thought it was great advice, although it's not Here's really advice check. I can follow. Because when I'm certain of something, I'm like, I don't need to follow that advice in this situation. I'm certain of it. Like I can't really follow it. Right. Well, that's why she's telling you. But I always do realize that she's fucking right. Like I look back and I go, Yeah, there you were. You you definitely thought you knew what the fuck you were doing. It's like your. Uh, I'm just gonna speed that it's up. It's like the Mobius strip of your dry erase board advice to your high self. Yeah. Yeah. Like you. You can't listen to High Dan. But yeah. High Dan knows what he's talking about. That's a deep cut reference. What? Remember Dan's office back in the uh, Commonwealth apartment? And I he- had a note on my whiteboard, and it said, Dear 
hi Dan or no dear non hi dear not hi Dan don't get high it makes you feel like you're having a heart attack signed hi Dan and then Jeff saw it while we were getting high and he's like what's this go, that's a note I wrote uh <laughs> Well, uh, well, hi. I, I, and to remind myself, he's like, but we're getting high. I was like, well, I'm not going to listen to this guy. He's high. Uh, yeah, he's acting all Do you still paranoid. have heart palpitations when you smoke uh, the, the fucking ganj? Well, the advent of uh, vape pens. Vape life. Ah, so. so has it made was, things really controllable. It was the paper that was. Uh, no, I think it's just. Heart, I, I, I think it's just in general. Like, when you're pulling when, that vape. If, it's it will grown weed mm. is uh that's rolled into a thing and it's then an herb. It, it, as 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 opposed to a cartridge you buy from yeah. a fucking Seven Eleven that's yeah. like it's all the same oil. Like I just think I've learned. I still every once in a while I get too high. Oh, if I get yeah. too high for twenty minutes, I'll like, check my pulse because that way, if my pulse stops, Has, I'll, I'll go. You'll be the first to I'll know. I'll be the first to know. Is is there ever been? <laughs> In, have you ever read anywhere online in a book, Mel Carton, what have you, of Wrong. somebody having a heart attack because of of ganj? No, of I mean like the Lady fatality. Jane. The fat. It's like that's the running joke yeah. with weed, or not running joke. The fact that we joke it's about it. Sit down. There's and no crash. no one dies from fucking weed. You you'd yeah. have to you have to you'd have to suffocate in it. You'd have to be dropped into a silo full of weed. And that doesn't give you then, any comfort. That doesn't give you no. Any it doesn't. It's, it's, right. it, 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 it's, yeah, he's high. I think it's what people. It took me a long time to realize that that's what older guys when I was younger and they would say I can't smoke weed as much anymore. It makes me paranoid. Right. And I always thought. They meant. I was. I would always be like, really? The police can't, are coming. Yeah, can't you yeah. just not know the police are coming or know that the police right. aren't coming? Because I thought paranoia meant like hallucinations. Yeah. Like, but I think paranoia is just like a catch-all phrase that means uh, something's wrong. For me, it does mean the police are coming. Like when I'm super high and I'm like driving around. Anytime I see anyone on the phone, I think they're talking <laughs> to everyone else I see on the phone, and I think they're all talking to me about me and talking uh, to me to the government and stuff. I, mean, I love the Mr. Show sketch where they did the. Um, See, so you're Ray Liotta, Ray Liotta from the end of uh, was the, it Goodfellas. Yeah. The the Mr. Show, the Mr. Real. Show sketch when they uh, the, the uh, Lidsville or whatever what was the 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 I can't remember the fucking the HR puff and stuff sketch and, and, and then it's all just state of drug Yeah, it's all drugs and then like and then and then David Cross is the little boy going like. Let's let's just order a pizza, and 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 they're like, oh, I can't do that, man. And Tom Kenny's like, they'll know, they'll know. Everybody yes, hates they'll us. They'll know that we want a pizza. <laughs> As mayor of Drugachusetts, <laughs> I declare this pizza to be awesome. <laughs> that's a <laughs> that's a great sketch. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, this just popped completely random in my head, and. Well, this is no place for that. Okay. <laughs> and I want to state this. I want to start this off because... By saying I'm not racist. I'm getting no, 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 offended no. right now. I am a huge, like, Nightmare on Elm Street fan, and I love, like, the Scream franchise. I think Wes Craven is brilliant. I think he's very, very funny, and I, we miss him. He's, rest in peace, Wes Craven. But do you remember the time... Like it was, it was like early days, like early aughts or whatever. I met with Wes Craven's people. I got a call, a UTA calls and goes, "Hey, Wes Craven wants yeah. to do an animated series." Yeah, I remember. An animated series, and I'm like, "What? That sounds amazing." He wants to do like, a, oh, like a horror. Yes, he wants to do a, like a horror animated series. I was like, "It's fucking great." What? It's got to be like something like Creep Show or some kind of you know, you know, like kind of EC Comics. It's animated. It'll be violent. It'll be cool. This is dry. this is exactly what I want to be doing. This will be super fucking cool. I gotta do this. And I go there, and Wes Craven's not there. I'm meeting with some guy there. Who's a delightful person, but he goes, okay, here's the pitch. Um, Wes Craven, when he's not making horror movies, is going out and fighting monsters in Buffy the Vampire Slayer-esque adventures. And, I was, and it's called the Wes Craven Chronicles. He plays the animated series. It's about Wes Craven himself going out and, and Wes Craven, being Buffy. Wes Craven, the director. Yes. 
animated killing vam- killing vampires, monsters. and they had art. They yeah, had, yeah, I like remember. They, it. They I, had, I could draw it if I knew how to draw. It, I could because I can picture it so clearly. And there's like this kind of Batman the animated series version of <laughs> Wes Craven <laughs> fighting a yeti, and and he's. He's got like the, the salt and pepper beard and the hair slicked back and this kind of like like intelligent look on his face and he's fighting like a mummy and then he's fighting like and I'm like and I'm and my brain is going whoa 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 oh my god oh my god and I'm going hmm oh okay all right put that right down there. What's this? Ah, oh. <laughs> there he is again. There's a Wes Craven fighting an alligator person. Oh, that's, oh. that's great. That's great. So it's uh... so, so this is this is this is this is a go. This is go. You got this. So so and he's he he wants to do this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. We pitched it to like Wes is totally into it. Wait, Loves wait. the idea. Like uh huh uh huh uh huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Could I? It just would help me put together like you know a pitch or whatever. Could I? Can I take these visual <laughs> with me? Can I take them with me? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, can please, I, if it'll help you. Can I, I take like, them yeah, directly to Dan Harmon's apartment? Can I take them straight yeah. to the and, framing, and it, the framing and place like, and put them behind you. glass? And then just, like, a calm walk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I'll just be going now. You're going to go already? Yeah, I got so many ideas. I got to just I gotta go gotta take care of it. Let's <laughs> open up the door and close it. And it just like fa- see Charlie Chaplin fast forward me run to the car. <laughs> Open the fucking door. Dan opens up. He's got a bathrobe and a coffee mug that says "Kiss me on Monday" and just uh, kiss me. Hairs up in a Ferris Monday. Ferris Bueller like hair. Yeah, nice. What? <laughs> What are you talking about? I go, sit the fuck down. You gotta hear this story and look at this visual age. I am not gonna live this alone. This is the reason we're friends. And it was like insane. And I was so broke as fuck. I was so broke that I went, I, I said, I'm in. Let's do this. And I, you know, and they were like, well, Wes Craven likes, uh, crossword puzzle so we think you yeah, work that right. into it and he's also a bird watcher so if you can get that in there too what? and i'm just like oh my god yes and i'm like writing it and writing it writing those last two details up or is that for real it's for real no the crossword puzzle but the bird watching bird watching oh yeah. my god i remember the crossword puzzle because i was like whoa and, and and then and then at one point was this, I, it, was this west craven's idea or they're pitching it this to is west what Craven. i'm Their thinking idea. because i never once in this whole thing never got to meet west craven and which is sad because i i'm a huge fan i think he's brilliant i got the impression towards the end that this guy was not an executive he was like an up-and-comer or whatever had right. an idea said let's put two and two together let's just do this and uh, and Wes was like, yeah, sure, whatever. Well, yeah. yeah, I mean, why yeah. say no? Why say That's no? The why explanation you can of sell everything it, go that for happens. It, yeah. But people, so people say, how did this get made? Or how did the, like, why is Hollywood so plastic? Or why, why does this happen? Or other things. The answer is, why say no? Why would you ever say no? It costs nothing to say yes. Right. Right. Um, it, co- it ends it costs up, nothing to say uh, no. It says it costs everything to say yes. Right? Uh, well, okay, but I was saying the Whoa. opposite. I'm just saying like you're. Well, if you a, yeah, like, anyway, it, what, like it, you could ruin your career by saying no to the wrong thing. You can't ruin your career by saying yes to the wrong thing yes, until it comes to the point where because everything dies anyway. So if you're Wes Craven and your assistant's 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 vice president of assistants is saying like, oh yeah, and also this thing I want to do is like it's you and a crossword puzzle and fighting a mummy. You you just you just you just say the fastest route to the end of the phone call. You don't pull over your car and go. Now hold on a second. I'm Wes Craven, and I'll be goddamned if you're going to be interested in me and keep making projects about me for no money while I drive my car around. You just go, yeah, bye. Right, bye. Right. I'm busy doing. Sounds my own great. Thing. Yeah, Sounds great. Love yeah. it. 
And everyone, right. and then every conference call that trickles down from there, I was like, love it, love it, love it, love it. it. Wes love it. loves it. It sounds it. like the crossword puzzle and the bird watching thing sounds like his pitches. The, the, no. The, no, that's, no, that's, that's definitely not no, his that's, pitches. That's his underling sucking yeah. up to him. That's someone being like, I am nailing this, and they're yeah. nailing Which, it. oddly, I want to say, don't you think, aren't you revisiting this right now on this stage and thinking, actually, now, post-Netflix, Post Mind Hunter, post garb, post post just everything. Golden Age, post Golden Age, post like post actually Mike Tyson mystery. Yeah, like 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 yeah. why not West? Craven, you would have to lean into post Rick and Morty. Fuck it. Like, you would, like, you like, would have to lean into it where there would be constantly people like going, Wes Craven. How do I know that guy? Uh, I'm a director. What did you do? I did a Nightmare on the Stream. Oh, I think I think the I, don't, I, I think the, you well, you're like. talking about the consumer's perspective. I don't think so. I think he's like he's like Stephen King or whatever. It wouldn't matter. It'd be like Wes Craven. You're like I know those words. It's like Kleenex or something. I don't know. I think you I don't know, have to but the fan. average person doesn't know what he looks like enough that if you saw a caricature of him, that you would go. Wes Craven. No, no, no. You don't need to. It's the car- fuck the caricature. No, the name. That's it. That's all you start with, and then it's fe- that's why you all step right. on the gas with the caricature when you do a receding hairline and a gray beard, and you 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 lean into it. He's like Doctor Who. Like Doctor Who doesn't have to fucking like be sexy and cool. He's just like 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 that's the thing. Is like okay, crossword puzzles, bird watching, which is interesting because that's ultimately what what the Doctor is. Right. He's, oh, he's, he's Wes Craven. He just goes around and he's it's a cool name, and it's like it it, it, it kind of sells itself these days. Show's it called Doctor works. Who. He's the character's the Doctor. Uh, but uh, 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 but but back then it was fucking ludicrous because it it, it I still think it's pretty fucking. Ludicrous. Well, also you know that if tomorrow if Wes Craven was alive and because I know this because I've done these fucking projects where you go like somebody goes like oh my god I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pr- do a pretensy name that's like equivalent because I don't want to like, get in trouble by naming names but like sorry like Garth Brooks loves uh, community Rick and Morty whatever and then you go like and he want he and he also loves animation because his kids in animation you go fucking well, all right like look I have an animation studio look uh, uh, tell you what Garth Brooks is an agent for the government he is like when the government has something that it needs done that no one else will do he calls Garth they, they call Garth Brooks it's it fucking sells itself it's hilarious <laughs> it's, the person's recognizable it, it doesn't matter sells you do itself. it you do it with anybody it doesn't matter it's like Mike Tyson it's, it's, it's like it, it, then it's all execution dependent Either the show's good or it's not like like fuck it who cares and that but then the crazy thing that always happens is you go here's your one sheet here's your free labor here's your fucking drawings i hired talented people to draw garth brooks this is a fake example but it's like the real the real one is like fucking mind-boggling toby keith um the the i I drew your fucking irrelevant country western ass like 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 as an action figure looking awesome and i I had people write up all of this is free labor fucking handed to you on a silver platter bring bring uh uh phone call for you uh garth brooks is assistant and uh garth brooks is lawyer and garth brooks is agent garth Brooks's family and if Garth Brooks is a, a foundation and Garth Brooks is a, a taxidermist would like to talk to you um, is Garth Brooks on the line no he is not but, uh, but here's Garth Richard Brooks here's Richard Jenny here's Richard uh, uh, Lewis here's <laughs> Like Richard, every, Richard Lewis? I don't know why. Don't get don't get distracted. Don't Richard get distracted. Jenny. I'm a little drunk. I'm a little drunk. They they all get on the phone. I was like, hey, yeah, what is what's going on? You got Garth Brooks fighting the Loch Ness monster. That's just not the Garth Brooks style. I don't know if you're from. This is Garth Brooks stylist talking. I'm Sheila Henderson. Garth Brooks doesn't fight the Loch Ness monster, young man. And you're like, this is unbelievable. I'm 40. And you should be so grateful that I, of what I gave to you because I could cut the head off and replace it with a pop singer and, and I'm going to. And I did. And then they sucked too. But it's like, like, what are you, like, like, I, 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 I what, uh, like, the voice craven thing works fine. He's a, he's a crossword puzzles. He's got a fucking, uh, he hates yetis. He's going to go hunt them. Who cares? Just let me make a show. Just let me make it. What are you waiting for? A good idea for a show in your mind? Mind? You're a fucking idiot! Why do you think that uh, the TV needs to sound like a good idea before you let it get made? You suck! Damn. You don't make TV! No, you don't. watch it! Yeah. Why are you in charge? This is insane! <laughs> Just give me TV money. Yeah. I'll make a good TV show. Yeah. I tend to! Mm-hmm. 
Oh, they're going to rip that out of context. Yeah, and I, yeah. I, again, I, I, I ask our fans to, to add that to uh, the original music thing that Rob put that gonna, under. Just like, if you're out the there and you're fucking like, oh, you know what? I'm a manager of so and so, and I got a thing. Uh, be in mind. I got to put you in touch with Death Metal Head and the uh, Johnson and fucking one of those things. Just take your fucking silver platter. If I come into the room, if you got me in a conversation, you're going to get a good show about your fucking goddamn musician. Yeah, you don't care about this shit anyway. Otherwise, you'd be making about it, making it. You care about fucking fruit infused waters and shit, and we aren't talking about that. So let's get out of here. We ain't talking about fucking no fruit infused, fruit infused waters. We're not talking about that. We're not talking about fruit. That's what they're food water. I just find it amazing that people sit around in rooms and they go like, "Yeah, I don't think Mr. Potato Head would do that." Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think. You don't know Sculpey what the fuck Mr. Potato Head would do. I don't think uh, Ticonderoga Man would uh, <laughs> would be that sharp. I'm a storyteller. I know exactly what Mr. Potato Head would do. He'd ask the question, "Who am I?" My face keeps changing, and half of it's in my ass. What's what's the uh, what's the meeting with the goddess in the Mr. Potato Head movie? He finds out he can be Mrs. Potato Head. Like 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 there is no fucking difference. It's a goddamn it's fucking anthem to, to non-binary identity. Like, it's fucking, like, like that's it. You know, yeah, and now fucking Coleco or whoever d dumps that plastic shit into our children's Fisher Price faces, uh, is, is going to be on the phone tomorrow. And I'm going to spend nine minutes because they're going to go, we love it, we love it. We're we going to run it. out of ways to it. joke about it because we're just going to do all the joking references. Seriously. With the original Mr. Potato Head's actual potatoes, right? There were things that you yep. could, there, there were little add-ons you could just take a you potato. Would, they, yeah, they and then they, they made the potato plastic. But 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 for early days... You, it was a real, you would like you go would into the refrigerator. Own. There was a, a mustache and an yeah. eyeball yeah. and a hat. You put it on a real potato. Yeah, on a real potato. And then they, then they plasticized their potatoes. Yeah. Well, they had already, I mean, unless the original shit was made out of potato... I don't even give a fuck. I'd applaud the, the step up to a fake potato. Well, it's a step up to selling you a fake, because they're not right. getting any of that actual potato money. Yeah. No. <laughs> they're all like, we're letting these people fucking, they're, they're, they would like go to like swank parties, or that there's a guy singing, and it's like, if you're blue and you don't know what to do, then you gotta go potato party. And, and, I, like, and I was like, uh, Howard, Howard Lancashire the third uh, from Coleco Price, uh, Coleco uh, Price. Uh, uh, meet Howard Hughes, uh, who's on his arm. Oh, Miss Melon Monroe. She looks like she's having a good time. That fuselage could use some tweaking. Uh, and look who's there. Oh, if it isn't old Rita, the potato magnate. Uh, looks like he's got murder in his eye. Could it be because half of the money from Mr. Potato Head sales goes to the potato? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look how happy you were. So, <laughs> you were so, you were you so all, delighted. Got all adorable. <laughs> well, yeah, because I finished something. Gar guaranteed to like, why are we letting Big Potato make all this money yeah. off of our thing? Yeah, in the biopic, DiCaprio was playing the Fisher Price guy, and he's like, look at that smug fuck over there by the punch bowl. What are you talking about? He's Howard? so fake. He's so plastic. <laughs> what a fake plastic well, potato. No, he's the potato head. guy's over there. He's like, right. he's like the potato over there guy stealing all my fucking money. He's so fake. I made that fucking he's, schlub he's uh, so make fake. food worth what it is today. And then what his, a fakey his, potato his, his girlfriend, uh, Samantha Hasbro, who he just started dating, <laughs> is like, why don't you just make the potato plastic too? Hey, shut up. I don't know. And then the, the, After the, the, she says, he's so fake. He's so plastic. Trailer. That's in the trailer. Yeah. He slaps her and she falls down the stairs. And then while she's in the hospital, uh, the doctor explains that they'll have to do surgery to reconstruct her face. We're going to have and, to and then he's like, I have an idea. <laughs> and it's her idea. It We're going to have to take <laughs> some of your butt and put it on your face in order to fix it. The only way to fix her is to put her lips onto her ear and put <laughs> yeah. a hat on her chin. We're going to have to take and it And then off. she's going to have four noses on the side of her face. Oh, nose. doc, doc. You're saying you're going to put hair on her head, you're going to put a hat on her head. Which is it? We can do anything. H human heads are basically like your potato product. It, it all comes out of the butt. <laughs> trailer. That's I'll be trailer. right back. All right. <laughs> Wait, he's, he's in Donkey Kong now? He's in Donkey Kong. It wasn't that big of a jump. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> we're we're clearly too drunk to. No, no, no. Let's oh, keep going. All right. All right. Well, uh, it'll be interesting to find out if this is a worse or better podcast than uh, Cheapy Peepy. I'm a big fan. Cheapy Peepy. How can it be worse? Than we, had more, we had more Cheapy Peepy per this podcast than we had last podcast. This has been a, a cheapy Yeah, I don't know. Pee-pee. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I, I think it's going to turn out that my happiness is linked to the show's failure. That's just my cynical theory. Could be right. I happy. think we'll find out that my hubris over my Steven Tyler joke might have made it, the joke less funny. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Uh, what time is it? Is I'm it? glad I showed up. I'm Yay. glad you did too, Rob. I wasn't supposed to be here, but I, I was. Well, you have, we told you, now you have to, to because you're Gary Shambling in the D&D. Let's bring up Steve Levy. Steve Levy! Oh, yeah. You got to love it or leave it. He shaved his face, looking good with a Robin Hood sweater, Robin Hood sweater, and he shaved his face. Why are you moving? Oh, it's very close to you. I mean, I'm fine with it. Is that it. a bad? Oh, and one of the segments that I loved most of all was the snuggling. Remember the snuggling? The snuggling oh, yeah. was good. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's hard to top because that that... that Things went to an emotional level. Um, it made me want to go like, oh, we have a regular segment. Like, if 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 somebody comes on, you go like, you got to snuggle with Steve Levy. Steve Levy, and he asks you, what's your biggest fear? All right. Why don't you snuggle with Levy right now, Dan? Why don't you me? Yeah. Why don't you? Yeah, uh, he doesn't oh. have any. He doesn't have any emotions. I, I'm just, no, as a friend, as a friend, I'm telling you. As a friend. That sounds exactly like a friend. As a friend, Dan. Oh, should he, I call you cheapy you're... peepee fuckface? Would that is that what a friend does? You fucking give me a moniker like that, that Wikipedia's fucking <laughs> jumping on my jock. You've been riding my jock all month, man. Fuck off. Cheapy peepee's a better thing. Oh, that's what a friend would do. <laughs> that's what a friend would do. A friend would, would say he's emotionless. Fucking call me cheapy peepee, asshole, what dick a, what? sucker, Sh- dick, Dan- liquor, ball, satisfier, fuck face. You fucking beards full of dicks. I fucking hate you. Is that the show title? Beard full of dicks. He's it's, hiding dicks in his beard. It's, like either it's, that or, him later. it's either that or kiss me, I'm Monday. <laughs> Copy, but kiss me, I'm Monday. But it needs to be your beards full of dicks, not not beard full of dicks. He's already giving me notes. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. but Shrub, you're a joy. should have been, I'm not a cheapy peepee. Instead, you you made it cheapy peepy. Who me? You looking at me? I I don't know who makes the titles. Who chooses the titles? Well, it's sure not fucking me. Who who picks it? Chris, Sarah, who who, who chooses? Okay, well I remember I remember. I remember oh, so it was Dan. Oh, yeah, and I corrected peepee. the spelling. I said it should be cheapy peepy, but spell it like this. And, 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 but I didn't made up word spelled right. <laughs> oh, wasn't there something on this exact same issue? What was it? What was the word? There's a made-up word that Dan was insisting was spelled wrong, and Rob was getting mad about it. Friend? Uh, <laughs> it could have been. Emotions? Might as well have been. I'm not an emotionless person. Yeah, I'm... you are. No, <laughs> you, you are. As a friend, I'm just saying well, I love well, you. I think you're great. Well, but or, or, or as a non-friend, you're just lying. No. Like, Levy, the other possibility. Yeah, I know Levy, you longer than anyone. Would you, would you assume cuddle position? <laughs> Just, just, and let's just take an experiment and see how this works. Yeah, show us. Oh, what it's gonna? Yeah, let's bring oh, out the emotion. Oh shit! They're if gonna he doesn't cry. He's a fucking asshole. All right. Oh boy. Go. Here, play the play the. Well, I can play it. I... How are you gonna? You Spencer, play, play, how are you doing, play buddy? Play dog music. I'm um, great. You know it's your birthday this week. No. Nope. Oh, sorry. Here, give, give me the dog music and I'll play it through your phone, Dan. We we want dogs. Dog songs. Why, why would you? Dog songs. All right. <laughs> Le- Levy and Dan are now assuming cuddle oh, position. No. <laughs> How you doing, Dan? I haven't seen you all week. Well, it's nice to see you. It's nice to see you, too. Did you have a nice time away? Yeah, it was good, but... You missed Cody. I did, but... I guess not enough. Like we kind of like she felt like I wasn't connected enough while she was gone. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I was proud of you working out, though. Thank you. You went up in your in your in your weightlifting. That was good. I'm worried that none of this is 
flying in the face of Rob's allegations of my emotionlessness. A- ask him. Ask him what he's, he's afraid right. of. Dan. Yeah. What's your biggest fear? Spiders. It's, it's arachnophobia. It's the spiders. I wouldn't be afraid of arachnophobia. I'm... Spiders. No, I know. <laughs> What's what? What kind of spiders? Fast ones. What are you afraid they're gonna do to you? Run up my arm and claw all in my ear and lay eggs, or cover my face, just bite me all over my face. Yikes. What are you afraid of with spiders? What I, I don't know that I am afraid of spiders. Really? I kind of invite them to jump on me in the off chance they're radioactive. You gotta I should be take honest. this seriously. Yeah, yeah, it feels like this on. is a big fucking game to you. You know, I don't want to be snuggled by a goddamn performer. He seems I'm sincere, not, and then it try, just no, comes I, out. I, it's all. Try, a why don't you joke. get down behind Steve and let's get a little. <laughs> I think little, that's the only little, way a, this a is ever going to fucking it's, work. It's weird how I'm 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 accused of being emotionless, but really what I am is a fucking stud finder for human emotion. Like I detected your artifice. You're, and you're, yet you're a, snuggled with you, and you're a stud finder. You just found another stud. God, fuck Steve Levy in the butt. <laughs> <That's all right. laughs> What's your greatest fear, Steve Levy? <laughs> my... Oh my God, you're so beautiful. <laughs> you smell so good. <laughs> oh God, you feel me throbbing. <laughs> If you're listening to the podcast, let us know how this translates. <laughs> Rob is thrusting a little bit. I can't. I can't. I can't do this. I can't do this anymore. I can't do this. Jesus. 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 Oh. Hey, yeah. yeah, Dan, you suck. What? <laughs> this, this didn't work. You didn't do it right. I, think, I was there two seconds, I and I went there and back I, I, again. I've seen uh, Dan pretty emotional before. Yeah. Yeah, yeah tell him about it. <laughs> we, lots of different times. I mean... At the one time, the, the hard drive the, the, didn't work really the way it was supposed to. Well, wow. I mean, he's, he's, he's a guy who doesn't, he doesn't like to necessarily wear his emotions on his sleeve. So Where does he wear them? Um... In my work, where they benefit people, you know, I express them. I wear them on the page. Whoa! I, 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 I and, 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 and I don't know what what could be a more intimate thing to do for someone than to uh, 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 get, 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 build an empire. That's convenient. You know, I, 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 I uh, have the ability to unplug my heart from dangerous situations and uh i've encountered uh, a, a lot and uh, i've survived and uh i think that my instincts are always right about who to open up to and who not to how important dan is your friendship to shrab like, like how much does that mean to you like not just in the past but like present and forward what like how like much, one to five like stars. street value like how like dollar value no like like no describe the importance of it fifty grand oh you didn't want the all right what do you what do you what do you mean describe you describe this is, this is only describe, hurting me describe the importance of anything what do you mean no. this, this, wait a minute wait a minute it, no, no, this, no, t- tell us this is tell me really awkward tell for me. me. Pretend no one else is listening. Like, let's say Shrab wasn't here and we weren't podcasting this. What is the value of Shrab in your life? I don't think you have to answer that. Shrab is a is a, a metric of... This is a good video. Of how... What's... Of, I, I, I don't know. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a heartwarming moment that I have saved on my phone of you guys. We were editing Community, and I don't remember how it came up, but... You guys hadn't like actually hung out in a while, and you missed each other, and you, and you guys just had a very loving, long embrace. You hugged in the edit we, bay, we and I have it on camera. 
Well, we, we don't hug very often. But well, Dan, 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 Dan you, you were about to answer that question. You were about well, to I don't say, know, but no, I don't know how to answer it. I wasn't it is, about to answer yeah. it. It's a silly question. It's silly. No, yeah, you were about you were about to say something. You're about to you're about to say something. Well, Shra- yeah. Shra- I was about to say Shra- something like that. Will everybody will laugh at? Like Schraub's a metric of uh, of my life. Like he's he's been there the whole time. That doesn't sound like friendship. You go like, hey, he's been there the whole time. That sounds like that sounds like Andy Cap talking about his wife or something. It's not Andy too Cap. far off. Though. <laughs> like oi, uh, or, oi, well, you better, oi, you're... Bernadette. I don't know what his wife's name is. Would she let, throw out like a let, soup let, can? Let, in let's it? say Shrub disappeared, went away, moved away. Like this was. God, this is so close to happening for real. Don't. Let's say his person. His old papery hands took over, and he just, he just, he just turned into dust and evaporated. What would be? What would you feel was missing from your life if Shrub just ceased to be here, your friend? Shrub would be missing, for you, Dan. Right. What does that mean? What's, what? 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 What would that vacancy be? It'd be, it'd be the guy that you know. It's like uh... <laughs> it's like your brother, you know. Like uh, he's he's been there the whole time. Like so, <laughs> it's like uh, yeah, yeah. It would be a bummer for sure. It'd be a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just stop. Like, I'm not seeing words the, 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 out of your what mouth. You guys are being so Wisconsin about this. It's it, would, so it would be boring. like it'd be like if Zeppelin lost its drums. You know, that's that's dumb. Oh, you guys are just being the, the the Milwaukee like Midwest withholding people that you guys were raised as. But that's you know, I, I know those feelings run deeper than just that. Well, it, things that run deep don't, yeah, they don't also run shallow. I think there should be an expression like maybe, you know, still waters or something. Mm-hmm. But the, the, well, it's like, like well, what's, the, what's there to, what are you going to have a parade every day? You know who has a parade every day? Disneyland. Oh, mm-hmm. how, 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 how deep do those roots run? That's a fucking uh, uh, craft fair with a fucking uh, Nazi mouse uh, uh, being sold as earrings. Uh, uh, you know, friendship is, uh, you know, somebody's there all the time. Like, well, what about when Dino uh, goes away? Or if, uh, or you, you know, like what, it's, you know, what? What What if bacon didn't exist? I'd be happy. Well, I don't know. Be, a lot of people would be stoked if I disappeared. But, you know, if you love bacon. I don't. How do you feel about bacon, Rob? I don't, I don't like it. You don't like it. Makes me sad. Mm. Well, anyways, what you guys are? Everybody's looking at me like I'm. No, no. I've I've been wanting to end this. For I a me bit. too. That was. I think it was. I think it's been it's your fucking show, dude. Uh, Take control. We'll play D and D. Yeah. Right. Uh, there we go. Let's do it. Ugh. Gary Shambling. Yuck. Gary that Shambling. That was awful. We only we only got 15 minutes. Should we should we crack open a D and D? Yeah. Let's do it. Ooh, Jesus. I, I just thought maybe you guys would tell each other you love each other. What is it? Is it um, I don't even tell my mom. I text my mom, uh, Happy Mother's Day, maybe sometimes. You know. I don't need anything. What does I love you mean? I love you for, uh, for girlfriends. And I love everybody. I vote for Cheapy Pee Pee. Cheapy Pee Pee. Should we just call this episode Cheapy Pee Pee too? No. <laughs> <laughs> With yeah. Roman numerals too. Cheapy Pee Pee. The 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 Pee Pee. Like or or I don't like it. Or let's call it. Peepening. Let's call it. I love you, Cheapy Pee Pee. No. The Peequel Church. The the Peep. The Peep. The Peequel. Peequel. Cheapy Peequel. Unfair. Cheapy Peequel. Cheapy Peequel. I I vote for I love you, Cheapy Pee Pee. There I said it. You what? I I love you, cheapy peepee. That would be the title. It is you know, so it'd be like a, the title of you not being able to tell Rob that you love him. I, this I don't love. I I love you. I love <laughs> what I like. Why why am I always? Why is where did this legend start of me being like emotionless? Emotionless. Like what? Where did I, mean, I think you started it? Yeah. What, 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 <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah. But I didn't. You oh, use but, that as an excuse to win arguments and 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 and. and, and have like 
free reign to be mean to people. But that's crazy. That's what you're yeah. saying is crazy. Yeah. Well, it was like, yeah. like, like, as an alternative, like, what do you do? Like, what do you, how do you win never, arguments I, with people? I don't, I don't, I don't do anything. Yeah, Rob I'm, I'm loses not a, arguments. I'm not good at, good at anything. All right, well. So, so you win. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> How's that fart drink? <laughs> <laughs> See that's oh like my God. Uh, when I look back on our friendship, every, anytime anybody bends over or reaches for anything, <laughs> just adding a fart sound to every movement is it's like it's it's uh it can either elicit like great laughter or just stop it. Yeah. Well, the latter being me for twenty years, this fucking guy, like like just every fucking meal. Every goddamn this bite. This is why we don't eat it. Eat together. I, like, like, I was like, like, well, that's why the fly two is underrated. And I take a bite, and, and it's just <laughs> like it's just. And I'm like, stop. Okay, I get it. It's a fart sound when I eat. Like, I guess you're saying I'm fat or whatever. Like, no, no, I'm saying you're you're you, whatever you're eating is making fart noises. Yeah, it, it took me a while, but I figured out it was all yes. in good fun. It really didn't have a, anything to do with the fly two. It just, you know, I just, I thought it was funny. I just thought it was really funny how upset you got. Yeah, I get it. I, you got, yeah. you got so upset about it. It's like racism and, and, and people dying all over the world. And that's the thing that's going to make you. I do not like that. I don't like it. I hate that when I put food in my mouth. I chew on it. It makes fat noise. I don't like it. That's that. I, it's interesting. <laughs> I find it a. I find I find it amusing. It amuses yeah. Well, me. I, it's it's like, uh, oh God, oh God. I'm a salacious crumb, dude. <laughs> what is? Well, you just called him Jabba yeah, exactly. the Hutt. Jabba the Hutt, exactly. It's, really? always, it's always a right under the surface if you look for it. Yeah, well, it's like, I make such fair... an easy target. I went to Dan's house. I got the free iPad. And I, and I, and I, oh, he's so mean to me. Like, 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 look at it. Like, like, do that Rashomon. Like, fucking imagine me. Like, I didn't, listen. I was hey. fucking, I came down. I was like. <laughs> 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 Five dollars at my door. Where's my iPad? Where's my iPad? Oh, oh, here's my iPad. Oh, you're coming in my house. Oh, you're coming in my house, dude. Oh, I don't, so do you want a, something to drink? This is fucking. Oh, 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 here. Yeah, drink it. Oh, and now he's talking. Oh, oh he's talking to me. Oh, I, oh, he's got some problems. Oh, 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 he's got problems. Oh, 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 now my girlfriend is, is, is walking out in her bathroom. Ah, oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I think you better go now. Take your iPad. I think you better go now. <laughs> I hope you don't believe this. I, I, like, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, you're no, right. Like, well, I, let me tell my... it from his perspective, I guess I am the villain. I'm a fucking heart attack. This is fucking insane. He came over. He got the iPad. You invited me. I, and you and you on the plane. I get stop that. talking about the plane. On the plane. He goes, well, well, why don't you buy it? Oh, that would be really nice. That would be a good way for me to decide whether or not I want to plunk down some oh money. I could God. see what it, And it's you were like, like going, it's really heavy, though. When I I like the I like the small one See, because because you know, when I hold it it's it's not heavy but the bigger one it's it's heavy it looks it's heavy but maybe maybe for you it won't be as heavy I've got two of them so yeah, like, it's really not that big I just want to say like like and, like and, this and then and then and then I text them I go hey did you could I can I can I try out that 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 iPad Pro yeah. We're at the you rustic inn. Come on down. Okay, cool. I, I, you know, I should get out of the house. And go down there. Everybody at the table goes, "Hi, Rob. Hi, Rob. Hi, Rob. Hi, Rob. How you been, Rob? How you been, Rob?" Dan. <laughs> 
It, it, come on. To be fair, that was a. It was a. It wasn't a great day. I was having. A... Don't invite a person over. Well, and then I go. Okay, it's eleven thirty. I don't feel like drinking right now. And I don't I'm have my going, iPad, so... I'm going to leave. Zero profit for the shrub margin. I guess I'll be I off on my way. I an hour without Back any to contact. Back to to work on my fucking uh, Green leaving. Goblin glider. Uh, you, I, you're you leaving came over, already? You got my iPad, and I said, before you left, I said, do you have the right charger for it? And you're like, what? What are you talking about? And I'm like... The charger, I don't know, like a cube, and you're like, the thing that goes to the thing, and I'm like, yeah, but it's like, I just want to make sure, because it's an iPad Pro, and it won't, like, if you, if you just use a regular thing you'd use for a phone, it'll charge slower than it, than it uses the charge, so... You, I've come to learn that you definitely need this thing. Like, you know what? Let me just go get one. I have a thousand of them. I go upstairs to go find one. He comes up. He followed you. Yeah, I know. And I'm I didn't have upstairs. a problem with it. I didn't have a fucking problem with it. I, I, but I found the thing and then I showed it to you and you're like, oh, I got a million of those. And I'm like, okay, cool. And, and then you sat down and then you're hanging out. Yeah, I didn't have a fucking problem with that either. But I'm standing there in my underwear and then you sat there and then I was like, do you want me to get you a drink? And you're like, Oh, what, what am I, a piece of shit? Uh, am I a piece of shit or something? It's and not, I'm like, no, I'm not. offering you a drink. I'll get you a drink. Like, you want to hang out? I'm in my fucking underwear. I, 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 but I'll fucking get, I'll get you a drink and we'll hang out because you're my friend. You know, like, 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 because I'm down to clown. <laughs> and, and, and I, and I fucking like, I, I go, I go get the fucking ice and a drink. And I'm fucking like, this is, I'm, I'm like fucking Bilbo. I'm like, you, once you're in the Shire, you're fucking, you're my guest. Like, here, of course. Let's sit. Let's talk. Oh, tell me about the world. Tell me about, tell me about the memo. What's going on with the memo? I'm like, I don't know what the memo is thing. And then Cody comes in, and then you saw Cody, and you're like, what the fuck? Why didn't you tell me Cody was here? I'm like, well, because it doesn't matter. It's like cool, like whatever. I roll with the flow. I like, I fucking love my friends. I chill. I like, want well, to come over and get an iPad. You get an iPad. Hey, you sure you don't you want to charge it right? I was like, I was like, from my perspective, like all I'm doing is like serving and protecting and fucking. And then Cody fucking gets too tired to talk about the memo and goes to bed. And then after a while, I go like, I said, I said, you characterize it as me like giving you some brush off. I was like. It was like, I was like, like, man, I really wish I could help you right now. It like, sounds like you're sinking in quicksand, but I don't want to get my hands dirty. I didn't say that. I'm going to back away. <laughs> could you throw me a branch? Uh, what? Well, did, did, uh, did you say, please throw me a branch? No, I didn't. I didn't. You're right. Yeah. It like, must right. be nice to be in. It wasn't. It was awesome. Like, like I, I'm, nice. like, I'm like, well, well just uh, like I would have, I would have put on some pants and gone and hung out with you if you'd said, "Man, I'm, I'm going to say spot. this isn't the first time I you've come to the door in your underwear and let me in and yeah. we have a drink at yeah, nine thirty. Well, great, sounds like a good friendship. I was having a fine time until until I realized that you were like the whole time going, "Why is he here?" That's what, why when, is he here? When did you realize that? When you it, said, "Get out." Well, I, get when out I said, "I'm gonna," I've done, I've done, I had the postmates brought fucking food over. I ate the whole sandwich, and I'm like, "I like, ate the sandwich." Like it's been hours. I'm like, "I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back and be with my girlfriend now." Uh, like, 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 oh, it sounds like you. I, I, but, but you're my friend, and I want to be able to help you. I wish, uh, you know, I, I want, and then, and then also, will you do the show tonight? <laughs> you know, like it's just fucking like Gollum with his fucking iPad. It's like, I guess I'll do the show. It doesn't sound like Gollum at all. Well, that was a terrible Gollum. That Gollum anyways, sucked. it's just like sometimes people take this shit seriously. You know, it's like the guy is like. You know, the guy. You, you ever hear him tell his stories about his mom? Then you meet his mom. She's a fucking sweetheart. Okay. He's like he's don't getting started. Even. Yeah, my Whoa, mom. I don't my know mom. About this. My mom was don't like even. she took my comic books away and she said uh, you can't masturbate to these anymore. And I was like, wow, what a what a crazy midwestern bitch this sounds like. Then you uh, meet her and she's like, geez, I just wish my son was sane. <laughs> and, you're, I, I, and you're like, yeah, you know, like what? Uh, the, 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 this is Shrab. He creates yes, myths. He I creates should, legends. I should have a relationship with my mom like you have with yours. <laughs> 
<laughs> then I would be then I would be doing just great. But I'm just saying you you're you're, saying. you're a poet. You, you're you, an you artist. Guys, you, you guys you, should go on mom swappers. You <laughs> mom you swappers. make you make shit sound. <laughs> oh like, my god! But mom people swapper. buy it. They, the Reddit hates me already. It's called Harmontown. It might as well be called. Sh- I have a hashtag. Sh- cheapy peepee and the fucking Wikipedia is calling me cheapy peepee, and that was your fault. Your fault. Boo fucking who, asshole. Reddit doesn't like me. What's your nickname? Dan Harmon's your nickname, and I'm Cheapy Peepy, you fucking cock. <laughs> Cliffhanger! <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for coming to Harmontown. Well, you didn't really come to Harmontown, did you? You just enjoyed it somewhere, maybe. Uh, Rob's dipping that mic drop like the oh, really? English lady that he. <laughs> it's not fair. It's not fair. He gets to he gets to d- dictate when the mic gets dipped. The chamomile mic. <laughs> Fancy mic drop. You're up for five dollars a month. You can find out what this looks like for fuck's sake. Let's get that for Steve Levy. Everybody. Three again. Steve Levy, Rob Schraub, of course. I'm Jeff David, your comptroller. Spencer Critton in your game, man. Oh, man. Let's I give it up for Zach and like Noah and either. Chris and Sarah and Kevin and Church. We love you, Shab. And also, the always down the clown, your mayor. <laughs> easy target. I'm easy target. <laughs> he, he said he's down the clown, y'all. <laughs> so I put it to you to hold him to that. Send us some juggling balls and clown noses. <laughs> also, oh, rainbow wigs. Check out the Scholar Brothers poop movie, Poop Talk. Uh, it's a poop doc. <laughs> poop doc. Poop doc. Why wasn't it called Poop Doc? It should be called Poop Doc. Poop, poop doc. doc. I don't know. Um, kiss me on Monday. I'm Jeff Davis. I love you all. Drive fast kiss and take chances. Kiss me on see you Monday. <laughs> Zach, put a beat on before you get peed on. Get any of that? It's a good show.